the cross choke. Probably one of the most overlooked moves in all of jiu-jitsu. I think everybody I've met has learned it, but not everybody learns how to apply it. What happens is you, you see it, it's your first move, and then when you go through class, you don't get it right away, and then people kind of get bored with it. You know, they don't have that high success rate at first. But it's one of the most just awesome moves I've ever seen. Hodger Gracie does it to everyone, and just to see the, the, the basics of jiu-jitsu like that being used at a high, high level, it just shows you how powerful that particular technique is. Now, I particularly love the cross choke, and I've been working on it more and more and more, and I've actually started implicating it in my game now. So now when I go out to tournaments, it's there, so you need to watch out for it. So I'm going to go over the, the basic one from the guard right now. Cross choke from the guard. What I need to do is I need to open up his gi because sometimes your hand is not going to be able to go straight in. Now, don't always just pull with your hand because he's going to have good strength. He's going to have good posture. I need to use my knees to kind of break him down towards me. Then I can get that hand in nice and deep. I want to make sure the blade of my wrist is going into his neck. You don't want to turn your hand so it's the back of it because that's not the right pressure. It's not anything sharp going in his neck. It's just a flat surface. I want the blade to cut in. So when you get your grip, you want to make sure your wrist rotates out like this. So hand goes in nice and deep, all the way into the neck. Now, he's, of course, he feels this choke coming. He's going to start tucking his chin down, all that stuff. What I want to do is I'm going to use my elbow to lift his chin up. Once I lift it up, I'm going to kind of give myself like a little hip movement, lift his chin up, and now that gives me a straight line to come underneath and get my other hand in. Now, when you bring both hands into these lapels, the idea is you want your thumbs to touch in the back. Of course, nine times out of ten, they're never going to touch. But that's the goal. We always want to go for the over-exaggeration because if you go for anything less, you're, if you get right here, you're not going to choke anybody, especially not on a high level. So open up the lapel, get that grip. Now, here's one thing I found. If the gi's really tight down the back and you find that it's kind of pulling your hand backwards, lift the gi up. Get that lapel going higher. That way when you grip, now your fist is able to curl up. See how my knuckles are showing on the high, uh, right behind my thumb right there? That means my hand's able to flex all the way fully forward. Now I lift up the chin with my elbow, come in with my other grip. My thumbs are touching in the back, so I get my grip. Now, whatever the underhand is, that's the side your head goes to. So if my, left, or my right hand comes underneath, I need to bring my head to this side. It tightens up the choke almost all by itself where I don't even have to do anything. Here, here, and now I'm just going to flex my wrist and come back center. When I come back all the way to this side, the choke's already there. I didn't even do the full finish. Remember in a tournament, when you go for that finish, you want to be here, 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 and then you want to bring it in. Don't flare your elbows out because look, if his head is in between my arms and I flare my elbows out, my hands go apart. But if I bring my elbows together, they start crushing in. And that's what we want to do. We want to flare and crush in. So I come here. I lift up. I go underneath. I get my grip. And now as I make my way back to the other side, I just tighten those elbows. And I get that cross choke nice and tight. Watch again from a slightly different angle. Open. Hand comes in. If his chin goes down, I pick it up. Hand goes in. Work back. Finish the choke. Now, I'm going to give you one little trick. If you go for this and their chin does get down, I'm going to show you a little trick. All you're going to do is you're going to pull them forward and then you're going to shake them back and forth. You're going to go up and see how his head kind of pops out? It'll do just like that. If it doesn't pop out on the first try, give it about three or four and they'll have a nice headache and the chin will be out. So, one, two, turn back, flex in. Nice and easy. Remember, just flex those wrists.